Good evening, folks. Yes, it is the True Vapor Show number 127. 127. Yeah. Yes, it's an evening show because after today, everybody's gone. They're gone for good. You'll never see them again. So I figured we'd just do one last hoorah of 2017. Hoorah. So let's start it off with Mr. Mark. Want to be a 100K fan? Take it away, Mark. What up, sons? Today, vaping on the Ruger, and I do have a battery door on this one with the drop. What else? We got the uh, the Blitzen on top, the whatever it's called from Joytech, and the Nudge on the SQ. I think I've been vaping on this shit for like the past two months. And uh, vaping on this, uh, mm, who makes this? Oh, God, I forgot the name, but there it is. It's an Altum box. I think it's Altum. Kind of doesn't feel like Altum, but I uh, got that. Wow. Sounds awesome. It is. Uh, Nada, Cloud Chemist, and what else? That's it, I think. Yeah. I wasn't really prepared that much, but there you go. Take it away, Mr. Phenom Vapes. Woo! Hey, everybody. That's the Vapes. Look at you, Vapes. Uh, I'm leaving. Y'all just run this without me. <laughs> Dude, I haven't done a buffet in so long. This is so exciting because I'm always coming in late. Let's see. What do I have? Oh, here we go. I got the new Vaping Archetype Archon Carbon Edition Ooh. with the Entheon on top. I have my LEFUSQ with the Iconic RDA and the drop on top of the 13 Army Mech Squonker. Oh, I'm and <clears throat> I finally built this Haku, the the uber, uber hyped RDA, the Haku Phenom Edition. It's actually called Phenom. On top of the uh, Limelight Bliss with the special button. Why does it got a mad modder button on it? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I'm on a show at Phenom, I always feel so low budget. I can't forget the bow. I, I forgot my bow. This is the thing I've been vaping on the most the last week. Love this thing. Did you Take it away. Mike vapes. Shut up. <laughs> oh man, the Haku Phenom. So if you want to total all those, everything you show in your buffet, Haku Phenom. <laughs> man, that's like five G's you just showed. <laughs> Not that. All right, uh, what am I vaping on? Oh, I'm vaping on uh, this uh, car engine uh, with the. Um, Bonza RDA, and then here we have some Sweet Tooth Roy G B V Biv Bell Biv DeVoe liquid. I'm vaping on that. I'm vaping on this beauty, this sexy looking mod right here, the Dreamer with the iconic. And there we have some uh, my mojito skinny vape, my mojito inside there. Um. Oh, uh, Mark. <laughs> oh, Same mod you have? There it is. Does that feel like ultimate? Why is yours not? I have no clue. There's something. You make sure you got something, everything together there. That's a mechanical. <laughs> Mark, black tape that shit, bro. I don't know what's rattling. What could be possibly rattling? The in your button head? is like ma is like massively loose. Damn, this button's like tight. That's yeah, mine's like, like super loose. Uh, what else are you vaping on, Mike? Don't rush me, man. I'm taking my sweet ass time with this buffet. <laughs> uh, vaping on the drop also on the Luna and in there we have some call spill RKOI edition vaping on that and I'm also vaping on the lift box by Anakin with the B2K caviar thingy RDA and there we have some uh, naked lava flow uh, and then on uh, that's what I'm vaping for the buffet. And then for dessert, I have uh, the uh, Espion or Epsion or e Espion with the uh, OBS engine. And there we have some uh, Royal Raspberry Custard in there. And then that's yes, we have that. And do we have anything else in this buffet? No, that's it. I think I'm done with my buffets. 
Take it away, SD. Do one more, Mike. Do one more. One more? Just one. Oh, you sure well, you don't have like an after data mint? Oh, I do have more. I have uh, the Cylon with the Blitzen RTA. Got strawberry donut in there. I'm vaping on the Vupu 2 with the U Force tank. I have some random liquid in there. Don't remember what's in there. I'm vaping on the V Boy with the Kenzai RTA. And here I know I have. Uh, I got Blue Pucker in there, and I also have Blue Pucker and the Punisher Iconic set up right here. Blue Pucker there. I have also the Squid Industries with another Iconic, and there I have, I also got Coil Spill in this too. More? Keep on going? What, you, what about these uh, these little pod systems? Which one are you on right now? Are you still oh, on I the have, or did you go to the other I one? Got the, I'm rocking a Ghost. I'm ro rocking the Jewel. <laughs> I'm also rocking the Bow. I'm vaping all of this stuff all at the same time. Nice. Uh, I, Dude, I want to see him take a hit of all three of those little pod systems at the same time. I'm also vaping on the Transformers <laughs> mod with this NRG tank. I have a Pina Colada from Skinny Vape in there. Uh, I'm also vaping on the Pulse BF kit with no battery. <laughs> nice. And uh, what else are you vaping I'm vaping on this... Uh, RSQ with the Entheon, no battery in there also. Uh, <laughs> this is the new iDroid device that I'm vaping without a tank. It just makes colors on the sides. You see that? Oh, that looks oh, nice. That Show that. Show more of that. Hold on, hold on. Let me present him. Real quick, uh, also, thank you for the donation there, Mr. J. Conqueror. They want to know, Fagan, who won your stocking? But I, I don't know why I'm doing this. We're yeah. still in middle of Mike's buffet. Let's not interrupt. Thank you. Okay, okay. We'll get it all in. Ooh, 2,700 duels. That's great. Duels, 2,700. It's better, though. Oh, hey. Battery door rattle. It lights up. Oh, let me show you guys this one here. In the beginning, the car engine mod. This is by Aug Vape. It's supposed to be the, basically uh, an engine. That looks pretty cool looking. Uh, I forgot what the first three were. Can you go hey, through? Check this out. Turn the screen on. Look at you. See the screen? Mm hmm. <coughs> Press down. You hear the clicks? Yep. The screen itself. That's the fire button. Hmm. Oh wow, that is pretty sweet. Uh, there you go. There's the screen. What's the little knob right there? Water oh. up and down. Yep. Oh okay. Now, that's, but that's basically where the oil goes, right? Yep. yep. Is the red plastic or like a metal? Oh. It's like metal. Oh, okay. That is nice. Yeah. Wow. Uh, anything else you want up and close of? It's all the car themes lately. Yeah, I know. I have car themes here. I like this. This is my jam right here. The Venino. There it is. That is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think Mike covered mine, yours, everybody's buffet. So. I think that was the longest buffet ever. I do believe you. Appetizers and desserts. <laughs> it's time to shut it down now. It is. Well, <laughs> hope y'all had a good Christmas. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to be real quick about it. Uh, boxer with the nudge. Uh, iconic with the pulse. The basilisk or whatever with the Marvin Gaye tank. And last but not least, I cleaned this thing up last night. which pretty good now. The Dreamer with the Goon 1.5. And in all those, I broke out some of that uh, heavyweight, double A. Also, some raspberry custard from Mr. Joe Turner, that Royal E liquid. Look at that. Third bottle, just about flat dry. About to break open another one because I can't get enough of that. That is Boston cream, by the way, but y'all should know that. And I just got this one in. It's not, hold on, hold on. I didn't interrupt you. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't interrupt you. <laughs> I got some of that sugar cookie. Uh, pretty good stuff. So far, I'm not. If you unsubscribe, then what the fuck are you doing here? How did you know about the live show? You complete idiot. Get out. Go. Bye. See you later. What are we talking? What are we talking about? <laughs> Someone in chat said, I unsubscribe from all these retards. And I'm like, okay, well, if you unsubscribe, then what the fuck are you doing here? Exactly. Well, Jeez. An interesting, it's an interesting name, though. Very that. interesting. Wow, that was like, 
hey, I mean, now my heart's racing because I didn't know what was going on there. I love when people do that. It just gets me so excited. Well, before you answer. Oh, I know who this is. That's I know exactly who that is. Well, before you unsubscribe, maybe you want to watch, catch the whole show. I mean, uh, no, 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 no. They already unsubscribed. Oh, okay. Well, they've they been. The get rid of them. Apparently, they've been, they've been banned for goodbye. But if they unsubscribed, then how the hell do they know the show was going on? That's my question. I don't know. They're not unsubscribed. They say they are, they're not. Okay. Let's get back to way, way back. Apologize, and we're going to do this again because there was a donation involved. Mr. J. Conker Fagan, who won your stocking? So. Well, you have to watch the video, but I'll be nice and tell you that uh, Dwayne Connolly won it. Dwayne Connolly. Very nice. Yeah. Believe it or not, even though it was considered Christmas, there was one douchebag out there who actually tried to pose as Dwayne Connolly and try to actually grab it for, before he Get did. Get the fuck out of here. Swear to God. Oh, my God. And you know what? He lives in New York, and he gave me his address. Oh, oh man. I didn't mean to give you my address. <laughs> <laughs> Want you to just drop by and drop him a bag of shit when you come up here. That's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, wow, that takes that's like bottom of the barrel. Like, wow, dude, that's pretty cruel. Man, People. Times, times rough, bro. People got to know in with some of this stuff, I tell you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Christmas don't stop them. Well, I hope everybody had a good Christmas. We are the day after, a week away from being into the new year. Uh, like I said, I did the show tonight because Mark is leaving us, what, tomorrow? Yep. Uh, folks are going to be scattered out, so I figured I'd do an evening show because I'm off for this week. Mm -hmm. So I figured, hey, I thought I'd do a little evening thing. thought it'd be pretty cool, but. Uh, wow. It's been a long year, man. A lot of stuff's gone on. Uh, we've already kind of done our best, worst, all that last week. So, uh, I was just going to kind of pick it a little bit of some of the stuff we've done over the year on the shows and thing, you know, <laughs> have we done anything like too crazy this year that you can think of Mark on the show? I know you're probably the worst person to ever ask a question. That's like something this. crazy every show. Yeah, Everything it really does. <laughs> I'm not sure, but if we didn't, we could do something crazy this show. What is the craziest thing you think you've done this year? Like as of a video, where did you really put yourself out there that you were like, man, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. Taking a shower. Probably the, for the geek vape video. Yep. That was yeah, I was trying to think there was some other video that you've done that seemed even crazier than that, but I just can't think of it. Yeah, the, uh, the food video was last year. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What, the lipstick? I, what was that about? The who? The one where you had the lipstick on and shit? Oh, that was a, uh, I think that was a Vaporized Nomads video. Oh. Was that this year or the year before? That was this year. Okay. That was pretty crazy. That was a funny video. Yeah, I think that was probably worse than the shower, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Oh, I, would ask, I would ask Mike, but Mike doesn't do crazy videos like that, so... <laughs> I don't feel... Recently, he, tossed, he did uh, toss something in the, in the garbage can. That was pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure he got some shit for that. He did do that. That was off his little Jim's video, correct? Yeah. Wasn't the thumbnail a picture of the tank in the garbage can? Yeah, it was the tank that I was vaping and the... Uh, the ones that they sent me for a giveaway. <laughs> wow. Dude, it was it's such garbage that people were begging for the tanks to take it out of the garbage. They wanted them. Yeah, it was I wouldn't give that to my worst enemy. What the hell? No. Uh, well, you know, nobody was referring to you. They were talking about the person that's been banned out of here already. <laughs> I was trying to make it, but... Not Mike. I don't even know what's going on. No, that wasn't about you, William. That's, that wasn't you. Relax. No, no. <laughs> this, this person's been removed. Even though they're probably still watching the show, they just don't yep. have the capabilities of <laughs> typing and shit anymore. So. It was that Catherine person that doesn't know how to spell Catherine. Oh, my goodness. They don't know how to spell their own name. That's real special. Wow, that's a heck of a name to use there. Take it away, Phenom. <laughs> <laughs> Must be European. I did unsubscribe from Phenom, though. The other 
fucked up. Got tired of elite shit. His high end mods. <laughs> I, it. I unsubscribed. Dude, the reviews are coming soon. Just hang in there. I was about to say, I actually unsubbed from Phenom because it was a lack of never seeing a video for this year. <laughs> Damn, Phenom, that chair behind you is overflowing too. That is. That's the cue of the products to be reviewed. Yeah, actually, that's that's everything the whole thing is a cue. <laughs> Here's a good question. Phenom, what is the best item you think you've purchased in 2017? By far, what has been the number one thing you think you purchased? The limelight. Serious? Yeah, because like I was such remember in the beginning when the squonks came out, I was such a squonk hater. I'm like, I'm never gonna switch over to squonking. It makes no sense to fucking shove my finger into a hole and like squish a bottle. But then when I got the limelight, just the ergonomics of this thing and the way that it wraps around your finger and like the button placement, I was I felt instantly in love with squonking. Remember the 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 wooden one I first got? Mm -hmm. That's the one that changed my 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 mind about squonking. The one that you lost in the New York City cab. No, that was the black one. That was the gloom. That was the expensive. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he lost it in a New York City apartment. No, I, I, think, I gave that with him. Like he's like, if you're a real friend, you would give it up. I'm like, okay, here you go. I never said that. <laughs> Don't even try that. Maybe. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, when I got when I got my gloom. I'm like, man, this thing is so nice. I wanted, I wanted Mike to to experience the same thing. Like it, like I said, I was a I was a squonk hater, and then I completely fell in love with it just because of that mod. <clears throat> I, I took uh, bees, what's it called beeswax or something, mm -hmm. and I did the whole mod with it. Oh. How much did one of those cost? The base, the base one is like two eighty. Oh, that ain't horrible. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. I also sanded it all down. This whole all the sides on it. Mm. I sanded it because it was like rough spots. Sanded it and then I did the beeswax on it. It came out mint. But like ergonomics wise, Mike, isn't that like one of the better ones that you received for from the year for squonking? Yeah, I think ergonomically that's one of the best. And I actually I prefer the button on like the Luna where it is. Oh man, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm a fun. I'm, a I'm trying to get a mod with a button on the side. You would probably fall in love with too, because it's got the ergonomics, just like the limelight. Yeah, with the buttons on the side. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, even if it's here, the button, it's fine too. Here or here, doing this. You remember you're you're going like this. Mm -hmm. you know? But uh, with this one here, it's not too bad because it's small. It falls. This groove it's got here falls perfectly in there to where. Well, this one, this one has a front fire, the 13 Mac. Yeah. I don't know. I still like the top. I, don't know. I like the, like that, too. Yeah. I guess right. both work. Because you you naturally rest your finger in the front or the top, and your thumb at the top, right? And the squonk bottle is in the middle. I do like that one right there. It's pretty sharp looking. Yeah. All right. So let's turn it over to Mike. This is not stuff that was sent. This was stuff that... You purchased over the year. What do you think your best purchase for 2017 was, vape wise? <laughs> He's like, which one did I buy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a whole bunch here that I bought. Well, I know he buys a bunch <laughs> of stuff, so. Where is it? I, I have a few here. They're missing doors and stuff, but whatever. Where is it? I can't find my Archon. Where is my Archon? Your OG Archon? Yeah. Did you check Phenom's house? Dude, Phenom fucking probably stole my Archon. What the fuck? Because <laughs> you took his other one. Oh, look, it's right in front of me. It was Brian when he slept over. Anyway, I have two of them. This one's the Cyclone Edition, but I have no doors on it right now. The uh, Cyclone Edition Archon would have to be this. Actually, the Cyclone Edition Archon. Yeah, I love that the the weight that the doors added. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite purchases. That right there, and also this here for mechanical tube mod, the Bane. Mm -hmm. Uh, did I buy anything else? I mean, I bought other stuff from that other company. Blah, 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 blah. You know their name, right? Yep. Zubba, zubba, zubba. Blah, 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 blah. I'm there too. I mean, I'll show it. This is another purchase that I really loved it because it meant something, you know? 
was the Vaporized Nomads, uh, the Vape Team Edition. Mm -hmm. well, this is another purchase that I... Uh, yeah. I mean, did I buy other stuff, too? I bought a lot of other shit, too, but... Was that this year? Or that was, was that last year? No, that was this year. Yeah. Uh, was it? it was the Atlanta, when we went to Atlanta. Yeah. Huh. What about uh, you, Mark? Purchase-wise, that you purchased out of your own pocket. Actually, the what I just bought, bought nothing. from, uh, yeah, I, I hardly ever do buy stuff, but when I do buy, I bought this, even though I had one sent to me, I got rid of it, and I rebought it from Mike's site, and I loved what it. You loved it so much that you bought a second one. No, I actually was stupid enough to get, well, I got rid of the first one because it was just like a plain black one, and then when I seen the Punisher doors, I'm like, oh, I gotta have it, so I got the... Uh, limited edition, like polished or whatever, brushed frame with the Punisher door, which is awesome. So I've been using this every day, and so far this is like, I mean, I bought like the Hammer of God and a few other mods that I was really excited about, but I've never used them. Like just how about, how about your orange Sigilli that you bought? Lot? I've been using that, and the screen it keeps like turning off. Ugh. Uh, oh, gosh. and it's leaving on the, the, the wooden one. Oh God, that was a that with wooden. What about this waste of money? Do I even still have it? Then I throw it out a window. <laughs> oh, it's oh wait, oh wait, the purge mod. I bought that. I haven't been using it that much, but I love that. Uh yeah, that wooden swamp mod I bought. Oh god, that was a fucking here it is. Right here. Waste of money. But wasn't he trying to send you like another bottle or something? Or he did send new bottles. Those bottles still don't work. Uh oh. And Dude, the magnets should, on here, so everything about this just is... You should have hyped that one up a lot and left it on the front of the shelf so when you did your 100K giveaway, people would have seen it and picked it. You could have been done with it. It's such a nice like piece of wood, too, but it's such a shame it's poorly done. Yeah. But, yeah. You think the construction on like a, a dual or a dual battery one was better? or Because what's his name had it in as one of his best or one of his favorites of 27? Ooh. Biker? Uh, no, uh, Todd, the shit guy. No, I think that was you're getting that mistaken. Biker had that right there. Biker told uh, me he had the same problem with his, with the battery door, and when he squonked, it popped the door off. I mean, I don't see how anyone could really like it. I mean, it just the way it's designed. You squonk oh, on the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. No, Biker had the lipo edition, though, yeah. right? Yeah, the lipo would have been better. Because it would have been like perfectly flat on the inside when you squonk, it wouldn't pop the batteries out. Yeah. I mean, if these magnets were like really strong on the inside, it wouldn't happen, but such a shame. Surprisingly enough, which uh, I didn't get just like a whole lot of stuff over the year, the one thing I bought that I have used the heck out of that I still enjoy off and on is this Minikin V2 I bought. This one has, has definitely been a good one with me. And I, I think that was because I seen Brian using his so much. And he was always talking about his all the time. I was like, man, I got to get one. So, and that was an Atlanta purchase when we were at that show. So, well, I just realized I have another one that I bought. And I'm holding it in my hands. That's cute. Yep. I also bought one too. Man, I tell you what, I'm hoping that uh, 18 brings uh, some new crazy stuff with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will say the bow kit I bought, the bow and the, the charging box, that was another awesome purchase. Yeah. For me, yeah, I bought a bow and a charging box too. It seems like I buy shit that I already either had or have. It's kind of weird. Well, you also bought that. Uh, have you been using that? What's that squonk box you bought? The purge. The purge. Yeah. I haven't used it as much as the SQ, probably because it just it's much bigger. But I should is probably that, start using it. Is that the only drawback? Just because it's larger, or yeah, it just, it's really like big and heavy for being a single battery. But it's really nice. But I need to take it off the shelf and start using it. Yeah, I could have sworn you're going to get that brass one. In Orlando. If I would have known that you were going to buy it, I would have bought it. If I would have known that. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that make sense, right? 
fucking a minute later, if he didn't, I was like, I'll take it. Oh, it's because you spent your money on the other one. I'm like, I figure he's not going to buy it, so I'll just buy it. Well, you should have said, well, if you're going to buy it, I'm going to buy it. Then I would have bought it. Well, what's even funnier in both of that is that Mike was going to get one, and y'all bought both of them up before he could even <laughs> turn around to get it. Which right now, I'm actually happy that there wasn't any, because I really don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I thought Brent, Mark, Mark was going to get the brass one just as a show mod. It would have been perfect sitting on that desk. Yeah, it would have. So let's talk about it. We all, we all lined up in the bow pod, like the bow section to buy stuff, and then we all lined up in the purge section to buy stuff in Orlando. That was pretty much it. Yep. Let's talk about this little discovery we made. It might be kind of news to Mike and Fina, but me and Mark are well aware of it. Uh, so as y'all know, what it's, I think, next week that we're going to do the St. Louis thing. Mm -hmm. So me and Mark actually went online and got the little – travel maker mapping thing out here we go and actually got pictures of the building <laughs> that this thing is going to be in and the location it's a bingo hall dude this place is small and it's Isn't like it? yes showcase it's, was like humongous in atlanta dude from the looks of what we're saying by picture so far detroit is going to seem huge compared to this are you serious mm. yes <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh. If this was a flop, this is the last time I'm going to a showcase event. I know there would be a, a bunch of good modders, though, going to the modders gallery. So maybe that may be worth it. Well, from the looks of things, it's. But uh, the good thing is, if we get hungry, there is a McDonald's across the street <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a Hardee's. <laughs> there is a Hardee's. Maybe I'll eat the Hardee's. McDonald's I won't touch. Hardee's, oh, yeah. Yes. And I haven't seen a Hardee's in decades. Yeah. I'm just going down there for the Hardee's. So what's a what's a must must do type thing in, in St. Louis? Bingo. Never... We'll play bingo. Okay, we go. Be bingo. <laughs> Once we're done with our like you know, <laughs> exhilarating bingo game, we go off and do what? I think the only thing in St. Louis to do is ride the arch. <laughs> hey, what and, is this ride the arch thing? I don't. And, it, and there's a weight limit, so Mark can't do it. So, <laughs> son of a bitch. I want to see Mark get to your your room, SD. It's four floors up. Yeah, he he'll never make it up there. I'm actually gonna be sleeping uh, with uh, Charity. Thank you. We're sharing a bed. There we go. There you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> Was I supposed to say that out loud? Probably not. Let, let the hits keep coming. But, uh, <laughs> uh, go to the bud plant. The hell is that? The bud plant. Budweiser plant. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That is there. I forgot. Oh, is that. it? Yep. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, we're going like in the middle of winter too, so there's not too many outdoor activities. I think that I want to be involved. Like when we went to when we went to Detroit, we had the Coney Dogs, right? That was like the the go to thing to do. Yeah, what's the true. truest thing to do? Uh, I don't know. Somebody out in chat that lives in the area, what is your opinion to that? Oh, I'm saying messages getting deleted. So, <laughs> good job, Mr. Dandy. Good job. He sometimes he says the most stupidest things. <laughs> and he wonders why he gets banned. I love you, Mr. Dandy. I do. I seriously do. He's got a nice wife, though, Maria. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. whoa. I'm allowed to fuck with him. He fucks with me that way. Uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get on to some questions. Because <laughs> I'm not seeing anybody saying anything, so... Uh, BC Cody, Cody He's talking about Detroit. Oh yeah, never mind. Okay. What does St. Louis have? Anything? Like they've got well, We're gonna be in Illinois, right? Yeah, Illinois. Yeah. Technically, yeah. Like a block or two yeah. over. We're, we're, staying, we're staying like <clears throat> five minutes south from St. Louis, though. Yeah. So are we, we gotta, staying in Illinois or or no? Uh, we're staying in Missouri, but then we're oh. driving to Illinois. Right. We're, we're driving back to your state, so nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know barbecue is a big thing there, so oh, I, we can eat. 
Yeah, but good lord, I live in an area that's nothing but barbecue, so that's like nothing for me. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody had a question. Dustin asked, the VCMT2 is stuck on my mind. Don't oh, un- make it on stick. Oh, it's stuck on my mind and tried all I know oh. to get off any suggestions. Throw it uh, all over the garbage. Man, I, I don't know what to tell you on that one. Uh, if you think the tank is garbage, use a pair of pliers or channel locks and crank that shit off. Yeah. If you've got it on there that tight... Uh, rubber bands. Throw rubber bands or vape bands around it first and then take channel locks and put over the, the rubber bands or your vape band and turn it. So this way you don't scratch up anything. Uh, trucking just donated $5. Make sure you take Guys, take Mark to the Hustlers Club across the way. Mark, Mark ain't going anywhere. He's got to stay at the uh, house. Feel it? I've got to watch over Charity. Make sure she don't get out of line. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, is that Shada and her boyfriend? They said they live a half hour away, I think. Yeah, they do. Is it? Yeah, I wonder if they're going to the expo. I would assume they are if it's a half hour away. Oh. Yeah. It'd be cool to meet them. Yeah, yeah, because they've they've come in the rooms for a good while. I still hope low budget is there. Oh, come on! I hope Lord have mercy. I did want to you get that, uh, Mark, did you get the Vapors Clouds tank? Yeah, but I didn't use it. I have it right here. It's a sexy tank. Is it? Yeah, look at it. It's just, it's a beautiful tank. Uh, let's say you have uh, the tank full of liquid, and you want to. Rewick, <laughs> all your liquid is out. It's gone. <laughs> and, uh, the airflow on this thing is loud as fuck. Wait, I thought that was the one that you said is a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't use it. Yeah, I mean, listen. Listen to the airflow. Wow. That sounds pretty smooth to me. Okay, now listen Listen to the Blitzen. Oh, uh, okay. I guess it, <laughs> it's a big difference then. Right. See how blitz it is? And then here. Yeah, it is much louder. That sounds like my mesh tank. This is loud as fuck. Don't talk shit about the mesh tank. Yeah, Freemax is not going to be too happy because that one's getting released tomorrow. I made it today, and I wasn't happy with mine. So, <laughs> uh, The reload, no. The reload destroys this RTA. Crazy. No way. Yeah, anything with some crazy airflow on it. I don't even want to fool with it. Nah. If you want if you want to get a tank, get uh something that's pretty good for a cheaper price, the Kenzai. The Kenzai is an awesome RTA. Yeah. That is definitely on the list. Smooth yeah. airflow on this one. Kenzai, Kenzai. Kenzai is a good choice. The Blitzen. A good choice. And another one that I know that y'all been talking about that y'all have all enjoyed so far. Yeah, I've been trying to tell people not to get that VCMT too. It's not it's not worth the money, in my opinion. When is the St. Louis Expo I'm pretty close to? It. It's uh January sixth and seventh, I believe. Yes. So what is it Friday, Saturday or Saturday, Sunday? Saturday, Sunday. I think they're doing B two B few hours at first, and then whatever. Did you get your confirmation back? Actually, no, what I didn't. And you said <coughs> no pretty quick. Yeah, What's they hit me a mic back the next day. Yeah, I got my tickets for that. You sons of bitches. Whatever it is, tickets. So. Don't hook um, up your homie or anything. Well, dude, we told you at the time we were doing it. You just never. I emailed them. I didn't. Wait, maybe I did get an email back. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I agree, Felix. Marvin is better than we see him. This, now, I'm sorry, go ahead, Mike. No, I was just going to say, there's so many good RTAs out there. I mean, if you want something that just looks nice, then go get the VCMT. Yeah. If Because it is a nice-looking tank, but I don't like the vape off it. Now, I was at a point when I first got the Marvin, I didn't care for it. And the airflow at that point in time... Just it wasn't doing it for me, 
but I repositioned my coils a little bit and messed with it some, and it's more enjoyable. It's not 100% with airflow, but it's not the worst I've had, and I've actually been using it a decent amount now. Oh, yeah, another good one is the Manta. Manta's an awesome. You know what I got today? Oh, let me show you guys. Uh -oh. I'm a, I love RTAs. That's my jam. Yeah, me too. Uh, I got a new one from iJoy. It's, it's called the Elite. The Elite RTA. Is that Brian's? It's made uh, cold. I don't want to start rumors. <laughs> Brian, that's Brian's RTA. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Elite. I haven't opened I'm opening it up for the first time right now. So you guys should get a sneak peek of it. Uh, pre you want to present me? Yes, sir. Give me Everybody, this, this RTA. I haven't vaped it yet. I just opened it up for the first time right now. You are presented? Yes, it comes with a bubble glass and a regular yes. glass. This is, I guess, the RTA. Let's see. What do we got for drip tip on this? Uh, 510 drip tip. Wow, almost like a Sherman drip tip. Yeah, it's a 510. We have a top fill. I think it's a slider. Yep, slide. Airflow, we have a stopper. Let's see the build deck. I'm going to see the build deck for the first time. With you guys, and this is what the fuck? It is a single coil. Where, where, where? <laughs> I mean, this. There we go. All right, airflow comes in from the bottom through the posts. You can see that. So imagine the uh, what was that RTA? The RDA, the morph RDA, single coil morph. Mm -hmm. So it's a similar style instead of it being an. Oh, it is. It's like an RTA, but without springs. Oh, yeah. See, that one's really good, too. Yeah, so this is a single coil RTA with the bubble glass. It might be pretty good. I'm starting to get sick of all. I mean, I don't mind it, but this is too many single coil RTAs now. It seems like everybody just jumps on a bandwagon. I want to see mixtures. I want to see that, more regular RTAs, dual coilers. That is true. And I was getting kind of excited there. Then when I seen that, I was like, "Oh, single coil." Yeah, same here. I mean, I don't mind it, but I'm, I, I'm, I love my dual coils. I am too, and I think me and Andrew were even talking about this at one point in time. It's, it's like I'm almost brainwashed into. I like dual coil. Yeah, so. but for RDAs, I don't mind a single coil. Depending on the RDA, I don't mind the single coil. But uh, for RTAs, I just need a dual. I need dual coils for the RTAs. Um, well, I'll be curious to see what you think about that one right there. It looks like you can put like one large beefy coil on it, you know. But I'm certain Mark will put one of those big geek vape coils on there. Geek 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 vape. I got the. Uh, I know I'm a little late to the game with this one, but I got the dot bot squawker with the RDA. Oh. I didn't realize that the bottle was a square bottle, like a, one of those silicone square bottles. Actually, a pretty nice bottle. I didn't realize that thing was a 2700 device. I didn't either. I thought it was an 18650. The only weird thing is, like on this side, I noticed the door comes off. There we go. And there's nothing behind there but screws. Yep, I think it's for you to uh, put different color doors. Oh, is that what it's for? Yeah. How do you like vaping on that? I haven't even vaped on it yet. No. It's, it's one of those Pretend left you're vaping it. How would you hold it because of the way the bottle is set up? Mm -hmm. It would probably be a righty. <laughs> That's the way you squonk <laughs> regularly? How do you squonk regularly? Oh, I guess, yeah. It's Isn't it? It's in the wrong spot compared to the other stuff. It's in a different location, yeah, definitely. It's on the... Uh, what side is it on? Let's see. Have you noticed that? It is, but let's see. If I vape with my right hand, my finger's right there on this one. If I vape with my left hand, my finger's right there on that one. Yeah. Right. If I vape with my right. Uh, I don't know. If I vape my right hand, it's it's set up for a lefty, basically. It's the opposite. It's not bad right here, though. Like, if you're vaping it. Like, if, finger, if, I'm, hold, if I'm holding this like this. I could, with my thumb, sit there and do that. But when it's in my left hand, 
I can't do it with the, this one here. So it's set up basically for a lefty. It's the opposite. I would think. They, right? I don't know. It. Well, I'm not actually. It's not actually. I'm not actually using it. But no, I'm, I'm saying pretend you're using it. Like you're gonna go use it and pretend yeah, to vape. If I go to use it, then I gotta get used to the fact that the the bottles on the like opposite side. Right, that's what I'm trying to say. So the R and B, the R and B squonk mods were were lefty. I didn't. I can't use them. Yeah, not comfortable. And I don't think Mark's any good at pretending, so you better just let him use it. Really, I'm not a pretender. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, except, except when it comes to his channel, but. <laughs> you, know, you know, I say I say new little sign back there. What's up with that? Uh, Angela and Marcus made that for me. Nice. Some wood and some coils and some micro screwdrivers they stole from me. Yeah, but your your head's actually blocking it. I mean, don't you want full display of it? I have nowhere to put it. Put it where Chinese Santa used to be. No, that's There's... reserved for for nothing. What happened to that big ass box that was there? It's on the floor now because it just sits there. Mike, where's yours at? Yours used to sit right there too. What's wow, that? I want to redirect. <laughs> what are you talking about? The the big pass through boxes that we had. Oh, I got it right here. Mine's on the floor behind me. So's mine. Mine's right there on the floor behind me. <laughs> Mark's got, Mark's got his cable boxes in the living room plugged into it. He's using yep. it there. <laughs> <laughs> What you do with Santa? I mean, the holidays are still here. Holidays are gone, buddy. You seriously took down all your, dude? You're supposed to leave everything up until after New Year's. Why? Yeah. Christmas That's is the end. way it goes. That's uh, well. I mean, the tree is still up out there, and the lights are still up. Just this. What does that have to do? What's that in the video? This room is no longer Christmas related. Thank you. All right, you so we have New Year's uh, decorations. That's because when I come back, it's going to be January whatever first. So there you go. Right. Are you going to put New Year's decorations? No, no, no. I won't be here for New Year's. Have you figured out what you're going to do for New Year's yet? We're going to be, uh, apparently we're having a sleepover at Mike's. So it's finally wound up. Yeah. We're having you a big party at Mike's house. Uh, I'm going to give out his address on the vape team group. So if anybody wants to stop by, sweet, feel free to stop over. Are y'all actually going to have a show Thursday night from Mike's house, or what's going to happen? That's the plan. At least it, that's what Brian said. Okay. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but that's what I thought was going to happen. Thursday for Mike, Mike's pretty quiet over there about it. So Saturday, Shane. I wish you would. I wish you would have messaged me earlier today. I could have jumped it for you and had it out for you tomorrow. We're kind of behind on packages. S Saturday, you should have it. Mm. What was the question? If we're going to Times Square, <laughs> if we're yeah, going to your house for New Year's now, my house New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, I was asking about where y'all going to do the Thursday night show from your house. And yeah, Mark, been... Mark was kind of like, uh, I guess that's what Brian said, and then I didn't hear you speak up at all, so I was thinking, oh, maybe he's not going to have it. No, well, I don't, don't even, Mark doesn't even know where he is sometimes. He doesn't even know he's in his own vape layer. Yeah, that's true. If Mike sets his camera up where he does his videos at, we could all sit on that little couch and do the vape team. That's a small ass couch, bro. No, you can't. If it, I have my living room, my couch. I'm gonna have the webcam set up. Oh. I got, then behind the webcam is my big screen TV, which I'll have the feed going up there with all the comments. You'll be able to read it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, man. Perfect. You bet. You better have Phenom over because he won't be able to see that far. So yeah. have Phenom read every comment out. <laughs> no, He's on his phone with the comments scrolling on his phone. I need to read it. <laughs> bring bring your iPad. You can have your iPad with you. You can have the comments playing on your iPad. There we go. That's it. Are you gonna, are you gonna let him use your wireless network, Mike? Yeah. Why not? Any places that he goes to when he surfs the web. <laughs> <laughs> Brian won't give me his password for his Wi-Fi. So I have great. <laughs> my internet's awesome here. And we know Brian's is a little on the slower side, so yeah, he can only handle like one or two devices on his internet. 
I yeah. got Fios. 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 So I guess after today, no more videos out of you, correct? Because I know you don't do like Mike and do. Actually, know. I tried. I do got two videos like already set up and ready to go. So. And I do kind of want to. I need to get a juice review done by Brian's house, but I don't think it's going to work. But who knows? Maybe. Who knows? No. I don't know. You might be able to pull that off. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe you can do uh, four of you. There you go. That'd be a lot of fun. A juice review. That would be fun. When do you leave out tomorrow? The flight leaves at like 6.30, so leaving my house at like 3 or 4, I guess. Flight? I thought you were trying. Oh, that's right. You're flying. Yeah. So that means you've got time to probably get at least one more in tomorrow, right? Probably. But will I do it? Probably not because I'm not packed. I'm not anything. Yeah, but you don't do your own packing, so what do you yeah. do? You're right. I do got to pack my vape gear, though. But technically, since Brian has everything, I don't think I'm going to bring anything. I'm just going to use all his mods, all his juice, all his batteries. Wow. <laughs> I'm just bringing my bow. That's it. How long are you going to be down in uh, Pennsylvania for? Like, when are you actually heading back? Monday night. Oh, okay. And then on Friday, you're out again for St. Louis. Yep. Which, I don't know how we're going to do that, but... We're doing it, apparently. Well, that's pretty easy. I mean, that's just like a little four-hour drive right there in the car. Yeah, and I can sleep in the back while she drives, so I'm game for that. <laughs> now we got our minivan, so I could put the seat down and fit a queen-size bed back there. Woo-hoo-wee! Yeah. Play with your coloring books and all that while I'm yeah. way down. And... Watch some Barney. I'm set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love how you're taken care of, son. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, you're right. Left-handed with the Luna, no good. Kind of pain yeah. in the ass, I think, right? Unless you, we can use your, if you use your finger like this, I mean, it would work. For me, it's awkward because I'm not left-handed. Yeah. I mean, I'm right-handed, but I still find myself vaping like left or right-handed. I never like have a certain hand I vape with. I yeah. would vape with either hand. I vape left-handed here at the desk. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm busy with the mouse, I'm doing something, I'll have the mod in my left hand. I'm vaping. I mean, technically, you could vape like this too with this. And I just put my thumb inside of there and I just press. You know, while I'm doing whatever I'm doing, I'm hold, holding the mod. I could squonk it right now. Like, do you ever hold the mod in your left hand and be like, oh shit, no, wait, I'm right handed and put it in your right no, hand? No, not with the desk here. I don't even think about it. For me, I, I could vape both. It's more of a when uh, reviewing something, you have to state that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe it's not an issue, but some people it will be. Yeah, I never think about stuff like that, right and left-handed things. And, Cause I make pretty much anything work for me in my right hand. I'm sure you do, you sick son of a bitch. There it is, babe. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, what else is happening? Y'all got any questions out there? Because we are getting close to that time. Are you seeing the Omir Ooh, VLS? Is that that's Phenom status, I think. Got to be Omir. The what? VLS. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Big left sack. Jayhark. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Wow. You see how quick Phenom picked up on that. <laughs> wow, it's nice of you to join in here now, Andrew. Andrew, supposedly, they're out uh, for, I think, Brittany's birthday, by the way. Happy birthday to you, Brittany, if I got that correct. Happy birthday? birthday? I didn't know that. I think it is. I think. Oh, I think that's what it's funny. Happy birthday, I think. But it's Sid's birthday today. Happy birthday, Sid. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Sid. Uh, happy birthday. I guess there's a few. Uh, our man from Boxer. His yes. birthday was yesterday, I believe. Mr. Rich, his birthday. Happy birthday, Rich. Uh, it's my birthday every day. So happy, happy birthday every to everyone. Day. Yes. Yeah. Garrett's birthday. Mama Hnita Combs. Hello, Mama Hnita. I got your card. Thank you for the Christmas card. I think Thanks. I already thanked you, though. Did I? Yeah. 
I don't believe I've seen my card, but hey, that's cool. I'm going to thank you anyway. Well, I sent, she sent you a credit card. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's fired, though. <laughs> you guys see the pyramid RDA? The deck is shaped like a pyramid. That's wow. kind of awkward. That, that RDA is weird. That would be oh. pretty awesome for dripping, though, if it's shaped like a pyramid. I would think it would be. I don't know, but... I do have... Fictitious character. I do have the... Quet, was it Quete? Quete. <laughs> I think I picked this up back in uh, Foxwoods, right, Mike? This guy? It's blurry. What is that? <laughs> the cotton's been this. It's Foxwoods. Wow. What, what RDA is that? The Quete by Hyon? Oh, I don't know. So it's like, what, like there's a wall there, right? And like the airflow goes down and in and back up again. I think, um, I think if you got the uh, the cloud comp caps that they that they sell, the shorties, it'll probably be better. I'm not a big fan of the airflow on this one. Oops. Timmy asked, "Do any of you have a Christmas hangover? I didn't drink anything, but feel hungover after Christmas. No, unless you can get a buzz from eggnog, which you could. I guess you could if you drank. Well, no, you'd get sick if you drank too much of that. Yep. I'd be shitting everywhere. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Gotta be easy." Especially when you get up age, you gotta watch some of that stuff. Yeah, I like that shit. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm taking all y'all had a good Christmas on the panel. I haven't I haven't even talked to y'all here in a little bit, but I'm guessing y'all did. Mm -hmm. Was it Christmas already? I know Mark got a real nice gift for Christmas. Why don't you tell everybody about that gift you got? Uh, to Kev, uh, who asked me that question? Let's see. Kevin, he says, "Fag, what town do you live in?" I live in Fag Town. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. What did I get for Christmas? Yeah, I buy my own Christmas gifts. So, what did you buy for yourself this year? Uh, I bought myself an acoustic guitar, and what else did I buy myself? Are you serious? Yeah. Are you bringing your guitar with you? That would be a negative. Why not? You said you would last time. <laughs> Angela has learned that never to buy me anything because I'm very picky and I always return it. So we have this deal where I buy my own stuff for Christmas. Does she give you like a budget or something? Or? No, I just I say, hey, I'm going to buy this for Christmas. She says, okay, and that's how it works. Do you I'm you, buying myself a Surface laptop? Those are nice. Those are really nice. Yeah, I was looking your... at them today at uh. This uh, place that it's called PC Richards here in New York. It's like a Best Buy, like that kind of place. Mm -hmm. Those but, are really uh, I'm looking at the. They have an i5 and the i7. I'm thinking, do I really need an i7? It's always good to be future proof. Yeah, but I have my other one that's an i7. I don't like the fucking laptop I bought. I bought you don't the like that little that Dell was. You got the uh, the XPS one, right? Yeah, I don't like it. You don't like that one? That one's sweet looking. Why, because it doesn't go flat or something like a like a tablet. Which one? You don't like your Dell because it doesn't go like a flat like a tablet or what? No, it's I just I don't know I just don't like it. I, I love I, that laptop, dude. The Surface reminds me so much of the MacBook that you have. It's thin as fuck. It's real nice. Or why don't you go out and buy a MacBook? No, I don't like Apple stuff. You haven't even tried Apple stuff. It's fucking confusing as fuck. It's all backwards, everything. Dude, Apple is so much easier than Windows. It's not even funny. Here we go again, because we'll get long and deep in this conversation. Hell yeah, we will. Gosh, we seem to do this all the time. And then we're going to bust out who's got the better phones and all this and that. <laughs> and I know Phenom just got his ex, so he's like, he's doing Sorry. away with Samsung now. Uh, baby Batcher said that I got too big for my bridges. Thank you. So anyway, I, I was looking at it, and I they have this nice cobalt blue. That's the color of the laptop for the Surface. Mm -hmm. I fucking love that color, man. It looks so nice. I got a feeling it's going to be in your future, very near future. A smart investment would be a MacBook. That's just my... 
and Mark's got a ton of them, so. I don't want to spend that money for something that I'm only going to use it. It's only for me when I go on trips. Well, 2017, you went on a bunch of fucking trips. <laughs> I just don't. I don't bring the computer with me. I don't, I don't like it. I'm going to give it to my wife because hers is like super slow. So I'm going to give her the Dell. Yeah. Phenom, you know what you need to do. Didn't you say you were getting uh, Mike a last minute Christmas gift? There you go. <laughs> He's kind of. Uh, no, Tom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, any other questions floating? I was saying no to Tom. I have yeah. the XPS. It's not slimmer than a MacBook. No way. Oh, you're talking about the small MacBook that I have, the gold one? Yeah. Yeah, but that thing is like zero power, though, on that thing. Like, if you try to render anything on that, you're shit out of luck. Right, that's what I'm trying to say to you. That the, the windows, not the windows, the 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 surface is just as small, but it's much more powerful than that. Hmm. But isn't the surface as expensive as a MacBook? They're pretty. Expensive. I remember the surfaces were kind of thick, because I had a surface. There's there's like time. three different ones. The oh. one I'm getting is, the, is the, the one I want to get is the Surface laptop. Not the, oh, so not the, the keyboard and stuff. Not the ones where. It this it becomes like a where the the what do you call it everything folds whatever yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it folds over to where not those no oh okay and it's super thin too so those huh? surface desktops they have whatever they're called those things are badass holy shit they're like five thousand dollars I know some people that's got in the surface and they I, I know they've really liked it. Tom says, slimmer than my MacBook Surface is slimmer than both. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it today, and I was like, ooh, I want this. And I was very close to buying it, but they didn't have Cobalt Blue, so I said, I Hmm. Well, go ahead and uh, make sure you get it before Mark gets there so you can rub it in his face. Shit, ain't no fucking cheap ass Windows laptop gonna beat out my MacBook. It ain't possible. Here we go. That'll give y'all something to debate for at least a day or two while he's there. Apple is king, son. Apple is king. <laughs> I guess the good thing with me, I like both things. I mean, of course, I've got an iPhone, which I love, but, you know, I got Dell computers and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I'm all over the place. Easy but, there, Dwayne Conley. Easy. Or that yeah. stocking won't be shipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or he'll pull everything out. Well, I don't know. You might want him to pull everything out and reload it down. I don't know if you're going to like what you're going to get. Apple's being sued. Nice. They got enough money. You could sue them a few times. Yeah. I'm certain they're probably always in, have something going on when they're trying to be sued. Here we go. Yeah, we we could turn the show. We could we could do a twenty four hour show debating that back and forth and never come to an answer. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if the trolls and all this and that, like if you do PC stuff on YouTube, I wonder if their trolls are like just hardcore with one another. I'm sure they are. The Mac versus uh, Windows thing. Yeah. They're like the techie trolls, too. They get all, like, techie on you and shit. Look how thin this is. Hold up. Did I see it? Ooh, I didn't see that one. Yeah. And the, the keyboard part of it. Let's see. Right here, this part, it feels... I don't know how to explain this feeling that it has. It's some sort of material. Real that soft touch thing that's on the yes. folding keyboards? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking gorgeous. Now I'm gonna have Microsoft. Oh. I'm gonna have Microsoft come after me for presenting their computers on the show. <laughs> Made those spots of the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> set about set up all service tablets. Yep. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Well, we've pretty much played this one out. 
we're past uh, we're past the marker anyway. So I thanks for my panel joining me this evening. Uh, man, there's no telling what's going to happen Thursday night. Y'all cannot miss this episode of the Big Team with all three of these knuckleheads being in one room. It is going to be crazy. Hold on, hold on. Phenom, are you going to be over at the house while they're doing this? Yep. Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, well, you better squeeze yourself into it too. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna miss out on the gyro meat. That shit's well, good. Definitely, definitely. If y'all can ship some of that my way when it gets sent over to the house, I'd like to try we'll, that. We'll, we'll vacuum seal it. I'm sure there's gonna be leftovers. We had a whole <laughs> trip last time. I'll just bring it with you the next week to St. Louis. I think how many, how many of those platters did we get, Phenom? Two, only two, but it was like insane. Yes. So I think one is more than enough. Well, now you have to factor in Mark, though. That's the entire thing. I'll be, I'll be eating only the gyro platter. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, one of the uh, sardines or whatever you guys eat, fish or... You... No, it's, like, it's like the gyro meat. There's like beef steak, like beef like nuggets. There's chicken nuggets. Beef? All that shit's grilled. Sounds actually pretty good. And, and y'all should know this by now because we've been on enough little road trips together, but whatever you're ordering, you better order just a little bit more because he's going to come in like a bad storm and wipe all that stuff out. So We didn't do too bad with the Orlando either with that food. There wasn't that much left over. There was a lot. There was probably a lot of coffee left. Well, is that because y'all weren't? Was y'all lazy about making coffee and just running out getting it? No, we didn't make it. Yeah. Okay. They burned through a whole bag of coffee, I think, in a day or two. Yep. All right. Well, with that being said, we're getting out of here. Don't forget, next week we'll be back on normal schedule. It'll be next year that we do the show, technically. So, all that good stuff. We're out of here. Don't forget Andrew's show tomorrow night. Never heard of them. I'm guessing he's on schedule to do his. Uh, 18 Thursday night. Ooh, ooh. Let's put the brakes on last mention. What about Sunday night? Yep. Well, uh, we're going to New Year's Eve. have the show. Huh? I think we're going to, yeah, we're still having the show Sunday night. How? We're going to be at Brian's house. I don't think we're going to this other location because they don't have internet. Okay, so you're going to pull the show off? Okay. Yep. I, get, I guess. Not New Year's Eve, not another vape show. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. New Year, folks. So is it going to be on your channel, though? It'll be on my channel at Brian's house. Okay. Wow, you're actually going to put in your passwords at Brian's house? Oh, I'm bringing my laptop with me. Oh, okay. I don't have much trust in Brian. I was going to say, he's probably got one of those, he's got one of those recorder pro, keystroke recorders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting that out of here. Y'all have a good one. Uh, we'll see you again here pretty soon. Peace. Bye. Bye.